The following day at 6.30, Texas A&M will have a chance to do something they haven't done since R.C. Slocum was roaming the sidelines in Aggieland. That is beat the LSU Tigers in a game that has now become an annual rivalry game. Since 2013, these two teams have met on the last weekend of November, with LSU having the well-documented upper hand, leaving a sour taste in Aggie fans' mouths after Thanksgiving dinner. Now, the signs have been there of progress under Jimbo Fisher, but a win over LSU would give Fisher and company something they could definitely hang their hat on. No, I think any win you have, you show proof of progress. But at the same time, you can win and not do it the right way and not, not really make progress. Like I say, you build it on a, on a false foundation. I think we've made tremendous progress as a coach. And I look back at, at what we're doing, how we're doing it, the way we're in games. But, I mean, you definitely have to eventually start winning those games. And this is important for us, and I'm anxious to see us go out and compete. A win would give A&M a 5-3 record in the SEC, which will be their best conference mark since back in 2012.